Hey what's up guys welcome back to the next video so in this video we are going to discuss about bristol cone coding questions so basically if you have applied for bristol cone and uh, if you are having test then you might be wondering like what kind of questions will be asked in bristol cone and um, uh, what will be the toughness level for those questions and also if you are uh, preparing to apply in future then you must watch this video completely because i am going to explain you about uh, the coding questions like what could be the possible coding questions and how you can prepare for them so i will not just explain about what kind of questions will be asked and i will also give some material which will be very helpful for you to prepare in future so that's why just watch this video completely guys and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe and hit the like button all right so uh, now coming to the coding question so as usual there will be two coding questions guys like uh, one will be the easier one and another one will be a tougher one like 15 minute and 30 minute coding questions will be there just like tcs infosys wipro and all other companies so coding questions will be same as per other companies but toughness level will be moderate here so like in tcs they used to ask very easy questions that everyone can i mean most of the people will solve right but here the toughness level will be little hard as I can say it's a moderate. So the questions will be somewhat trickier. You need to use the concepts of collections and all. So for that you just need some extra practice you know like if you are an average student then you can just make some practice in this questions so that you can uh, crack that, uh, that coding round easily. So a paragraph or a situation will be given and we need to understand the problem create a logic and pass the test cases so it's just like you know one paragraph will be given in which a story will be written like this this happened and this were the event this is the number so some statistics some situations they will give and you need to understand what they are asking and what is the given data so just figure out the problem then you need to um, create a, your solution so you just make a algorithm for that one and write it down so just make a code and uh, try to execute the test cases there so writing optimized codes is recommended here so see whenever we are writing codes we will be having two ways we either you can write a code using collections or maybe some other advanced libraries that will be optimized one but if you go for traditional loops then it will take some more time right so writing a optimized code is recommended here, recommended here as it will add on to your add value to your code right so that's why try to write a optimized code after that now coming to the material in which you can prepare is very very easy i have made one complete playlist for uh, the the coding problems like uh, the questions which are asked in real you know they are not like a model questions or they are just not like anything which is like these are the possible questions they are the actual questions which are asked in some of the companies like uh, uh, bristol cone also i have solved two three questions which are asked in bristol cone then uh, saskin capgemini infosys and then uh, tcs a lot of questions i have solved so there are lot of questions which are asked already and i have solved them in detail so for that one i will be leaving link in description that is you know like you can just refer that playlist it has got around uh, 70 videos which are completely you know like real questions which are asked in uh, off campus questions or off campus interviews right so just check out that one guys and you can prepare from there that's the best material which i can provide you so that's it in this video guys and if you have got any queries about this company then you can check out the playlist or else you can ask in the comment box as well because we have made a lot of uh, videos regarding bristol cone so you can just have a look at that so thank you thanks for watching see you in the next one